Let's now move on to our third and final main topic today. And our third and final main topic today gets submitted to us by I Ita. I'm just going to go with Ita. And Ita writes, Hey, John. So the Hollywood Reporter is reporting that Jared Leto will be back to play Joker in Zack Snyder's Justice League, joining the shooting of additional scenes for the Snyder Cut. What do you think about this? But also, is this even more proof that the HBO Max Justice League is not going to be the director's cut they had said, but more of a do-over of the story? All right. Thanks for sending that in, Ida. I appreciate that. All right. Let's, let's talk about this. We live in a world where Jamie Foxx is coming back to play Electro. I never thought we, I didn't think we lived in that world. I didn't think that world existed. And yet here we are. We're in that world where he's coming back. We are living in a world, my friends, where Ben Affleck is coming back, glory be, to play Batman again. To what degree, I, I don't know that he's gonna do in The Flash, but still, it doesn't matter. He's coming back. I didn't think we lived in that world. I didn't think that world existed. And yet here we are. And I'll tell you what, I am one of the few people on this globe we call planet Earth to have always appreciated. And I like, I don't care what anybody else says, I like Jared Leto's Joker. Do I like it as good as Heath's Joker? No. Do I like it as good as Jack's Joker? No. Do I like it as much as Joaquin's Phoenix, uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker? No. But I like Joaquin, I like um, Jared Leto's Joker. I think it was a fun, different take on Joker that made it totally unique from everybody else's. And my favorite parts of Suicide Squad, as much of a hot mess that movie is, I still had fun with it. But as much of a hot mess of the movie, my favorite parts of that movie was this twisted, toxic, awful, codependent dependent, nasty relationship between Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie, and his Joker. I ate it up. So I always love that stuff. There are two things I want to talk about. Okay. Two very important points I want to make. And they're going to seem like they're completely opposite, but they're actually not. They go hand in hand, and one is because of the other. The first point I want to make to lay some groundwork here is this settles it. This whole thing about, you know, th this whole debate about was the Zack Snyder cut ever a complete thing? Obviously, it wasn't. Right. I mean, I spent almost two years being screamed at by people that it's done. It's ready to go. Zack Snyder said it was finished. Zack Snyder has never said any such thing. Zack Snyder is not a liar. But I had like I had thousands and thousands and thousands. It's done. It's finished. Like, no, there's not. There is not a finished, completed Snyder cut that all Warner Brothers has to do is snap their fingers and release it. He's got a cut. He edited, I mean, he worked on it forever. He showed the Warner Brothers executives his cut of the film years ago, but it's not a finished film. They Then they did a bunch of, re, they announced they're going to do reshoots. But what's interesting is when they first announced that HBO was going to pick this up, and I've been saying for six months they should do that. When HBO announced that they were going to pick it up, they initially said there's not going to be any additional photography. They said they're going to just do some, 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 you know, some ADR. They're going to uh -huh. do some audio pickups, uh -huh. right? But then that turned into, no, now... They're going to do some additional shooting and a bunch of people was like oh but i thought zack snyder said he was done shooting mm -hmm. my defense of that though is that any movie any big blockbuster movie once it's done shooting will be given an opportunity to do some reshoots and some pickup shooting every movie has that opportunity no reason zack snyder's uh justice league should not also have that opportunity right but now comes this thing that jared leto now they're adding Jared Leto into it. By the way, nothing was ever shot with Jared. Variety confirmed this today, that Jared Leto, there was never shot anything for the original Justice League. So now they're adding Jared Leto. We'll talk about that in just a second. This brings us back to something that the head of HBO and the head of Warner Media, Bob, I believe you pronounce his name, Greenblatt, who's the chairman of Warner Media and the head of all things HBO. When he said this, and I think this sheds some more light on this, it isn't easy. It isn't as easy as going to the vault and there's a Snyder cut sitting there to put point to put out. Greenblatt <laughs> said, "It does not exist. Zach is actually building it. Mm -hmm. Like now, Zach is building what is the Snyder cut, and it's complex, including new VFX shots. It is a listen to this. It is a radical rethinking of that movie, and it's complicated and wildly expensive." I'll just say, I wish it was just 30 million and stop there. <laughs> Reports are saying it's actually closer to 70 million now. 
It's an enormous undertaking and very complex. Again, this is the head of Warner Media. Let's read this comment again. It isn't as easy as going to the vault and there's a Snyder Cut sitting there to put out, Greenblatt said. It does not exist. Zack is actually building it. And it's complex, including new VFX shots. It's a radical rethinking of that movie and it's complicated and wildly expensive. I'll just say I wish it was 30 million and stop there. It's an enormous undertaking, very complex. Some reports saying, you know, it's like 70 million. I think what is very, very clear here, now that we look at these comments in light of the, the recent developments, because these comments were made about three months ago that Bob said this. Really? Yeah, these oh. comments were made about three <laughs> months ago. Oh, wow. But I think everybody including myself kind of glossed over some of the words he was saying like when he's saying this is now this isn't what was originally shot look at these words it's a radical rethinking of that movie zach's actually just building the movie now so what this tells me is that even people like me who said yeah he shot the movie but it's just not ready to go out even i underestimated how truly unfinished this whole Zider, the Zack Snyder cut has really been, and how actually different this thing that comes out on HBO is going to be from what Zack originally was going to do. That's point number one. This is a very different project now. That it's uh, it's irrefutable. I mean, mm -hmm. again, we just go to the head of Warner Media. No, it, this is a radical rethinking of this movie. We're spending up to seventy million dollars. That's more than most movies cost to make in their entirety. And now we're adding in Jared Leto's Joker. There had been rumors previously that Jared Leto's Joker might have popped up in it, but that was never that was never actually done. It was never shot. At least that's what Variety is saying this morning. It was never done. It was never shot. This is a brand new thing. All right. But here's the second point that you're going to think is opposite to the first point, but I'm going to actually tell you it's connected. This is all good news. Oh, this yeah. Is all good news. I don't think that's opposite. No, well, I was waiting people, for a PowerPoint presentation. No, no that, that makes a lot thinking, of sense. Oh, of if it's not this or if it's not <clears> that, then it, no, this is all good news. Listen, I'm sitting here telling you, right? Remember, when they first came out and announced that they were going to be actually doing contrary to what they originally said in the HBO announcement, which was we're just going to do audio, needs to be mm -hmm. picked up. When they later came out and said we're actually going to do actual in front of camera reshoots, I said, this is not a bad thing. Every director is given an opportunity to do reshoots and pickup shooting and all that kind of stuff. This is a good thing. Number two, I am one of the few fans of Jared Leto's Joker. So I am personally very happy about this. I've always wanted to see him come back and play Joker again. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. Maybe this won't be a fit, but I'm excited about this. I think this is good news. And now that we look back, at the head of Warner Media, saying this is a radical rethinking. We're we're spending way all this money, all this kind of stuff. This is also a good thing because listen, as much as people don't want to acknowledge this, Warner Brothers did not like Zack Snyder's Justice League at first. They really didn't like it. They didn't like it so much that they made Joss Whedon come in and change a whole bunch of it. That's how much they didn't like it. Now they're getting something that they like even more. And by the way, Zack Snyder's a filmmaker. That means, you know, filmmakers always say they're never really truly done with their movie. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Zack Snyder has had years to think about, oh, I did this originally. Mm -hmm. but you know what? I've got a better idea now. Mm -hmm. He has had years to come up with new ideas. To, and, and by the way, he got a chance to watch the theatrical cut of Justice League, which made him go, you know, I, I didn't like that. I would have done this. It gave me, he's had years to come up with new ideas and new approaches and different ways to tackle this thing. And look, the bottom line is this, the debate is over. There was never a finished Snyder Cut and actually it was way less finished than even I thought it was. This is gonna be kind of a different thing from what Zack Snyder's original vision was, but that's not a bad thing. We're getting Jared Leto back as Joker. He's getting to do these reshoots. He's getting $70 million to take any brand new ideas he had before and incorporate them in. This is a win. This is a win. If you are somebody, <clears throat> and, and <laughs> there's one other thing, but if you are somebody who's been looking forward to a Zack Snyder, a different vision, a different version of that Justice League movie, I say this is good news after good news after good news. I think this is all positive. And I think it adds a lot. What I am very curious to see, and I don't want to sound pessimistic, I'm not jaded at all. No. 
But what I'm very curious to see at this point is how many of these people out there who have constantly bashed on Jared Leto's Joker. And it's fine. So film is all subjective, right? We love some things. We hate other things. That's all fair. But I am curious to see how many people who have really hated the Jared Leto's Joker up to this point, but they're fans of Snyder Cut are magically now going to go, oh, no, I actually always liked the idea. And now suddenly they're going to think it's great that Jared Leto is playing Joker. And I'm going to go bandwagoner. Mm -hmm. I've been on the Jared Leto train as Joker forever. And I've taken a lot of heat for that. And I get it. But it's going to be interesting to see how many people flip the coin now and say, oh, no, I think Jared Leto's Joker is great because now Zack Snyder is going to put him in the Snyder Cut. Or I they're going to say, oh, well, now the Snyder Cut's ruined because Jared Leto is going to be you in You know it. what? There might be some of those. I guarantee you, you there's going to be those you're, people. You're not wrong. There, 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 there may actually be somebody people out there whose hatred of Jared Leto's Joker is going to supersede their love of the idea of watching a Snyder Cut and they may actually flip the coin the other way. You're right. For me, I think this is good news. I think the sounds of this Justice League miniseries, for me, is actually getting better and better and better. And to, to hear this approach that they're taking, I think sounds great. Anyway, Aaron, you heard about this Jared Leto thing. I know you're one of the people who did not love Jared Leto's Joker. Um, I per, per have se, never but, seen Jared Leto's okay, Joker. Okay, sorry. Let me rephrase. I've never seen the, Suicide Squad. I know you're not the biggest fan of Jared Leto, but what do you think about this news? Like, what was the first thing that popped into your head when you when you heard about this? I, I thought, great, they're expanding the world. And, you know, we with the last time that I was here that I participated in this conversation, because I know you've had many of them, but with the last time that I participated, I said, you know, the second that this went from being uh, Zack Snyder's film to Zack Snyder's miniseries, inevitably, we knew that there was going to be additional content that had to be filmed um, because it was never going to be a four hour movie or His even original cut. Was well, no, but hours, hold on. Right? But hold on. I, what, I, what I mean by that is it was never going to be sliced into individual right. segments. Right. And so if it was going to be a continuous four or even five hour film, it still wouldn't have, as we have come to know narrative television to be, you know, an indiv individual episodes of a beginning, middle and an end and then a cliffhanger into the next episode. And so in order to create that kind of narrative, you have to be able, you have to film extra things. There's just, that's how storytelling works. So we always, once we knew that it was going to go from um, one feature into individual segments, we knew that there was going to be additional photography filmed. Um, you know, it's, an, I, I don't have a problem with Jared Leto as an actor. I think Jared Leto is a brilliant actor. I think he's wonderful as a supporting character in American Psycho. Brilliant in Fight Club. Brilliant in um, uh, Dallas, Buyers, Dallas Club. Buyers Club. Brilliant. But you won an Academy Award for it. exactly. I don't love the Jared Leto show. Mm. I love Jared Leto when he is inhabiting another character as a supporting character. I and the thing that has always turned me off of Suicide Squad and his version of Joker is that. You know, in the other versions of Joker, with the exception of Jack Nicholson, um, there was something almost uh, almost hidden about the characters. They had this large bombastic quality, but you only saw it in specific moments, you know, but in other moments they were almost, um, uh, I don't know, there was just something about... I don't know. And maybe it was the off camera antics that I just heard so much Sending about. Dead animals yeah, that just to turned me off. That made me go, is that really is is that really method or is that just you being weird? You know, <laughs> and I, that that kind of turned me off. Um, and visually, I wasn't intrigued by the look of the character, which is not totally Jared Leto's fault. But I I'm actually intrigued by this because I do think that Jared Leto is such a phenomenal actor. And I'm wondering, in addition to Zack Snyder having all these years to think about what he would do different, I wonder, you know, for Jared Leto as an actor, having all this time and seeing another version of, Le of, of Joker coming after him, what he would do different with his mm. version of Joker. And so I think it's going to be really curious to see how Jared Leto's Joker changes or evolves, if it does at all. I think it will. I think that whatever whatever problems people had, and I'm not, and I 
do not think at all that actors should uh, alter their performances based on what an audience says because they should stay true to their characterizations. But there is a certain degree of like, listening to you know what is the feedback and does it have any merit and maybe through all of the vitriol and all the toxicity that people were spewing about his version of joker maybe they can find some nuggets of truth and maybe Zack snyder can go here's here's what we're going to throw away from all that nonsense but here's some ways that you can adjust your version of joker um and 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 i think that we're going to see a more refined version less dead rats in the mail and more <laughs> you know intent intention as joker so i'm actually weirdly enough this news makes me even more excited it's not surprising right. that there's additional footage being filmed as we knew but it does speak volumes about i almost feel like this is jared leto getting a second chance getting a do-over well, and i know that and i know that there are they know the heat they're doing another suicide squad and blah 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 but, but he's not in it okay well then there you go but here's this is why i see there have been some very very unsubstantiated rumors some very that I don't even give a lot of credit to, but there have been whispers in the previous and last couple of weeks that Warner Brothers was re revisiting doing that Harley Quinn and Joker movie that they ditched <clears throat> years ago, and there's been there have been some whispers about that recently. Wanting to have Joker in the movie is one thing; getting Jared Leto to agree to come and do it is another. Jared Leto's got a number of projects completely lined up, including a new Tron thing apparently he's doing. Oh. And he felt very slighted by of the course. fact that Warner His Brothers... Of course, his whole part was cut out. Right, well, not just that, but that Warner Brothers went ahead and made, while he was kind of a Joker, they made a standalone Joker movie, which mm. was amazing, by the way. But they, you got to get him to come back. Is Jared Leto, and I don't know, I'm just asking the question, is Jared Leto, an Academy Award winner Jared Leto, who's got like no less than three major, major films that he's leading coming up, is he going to come back to do a short bit spot in one movie? That's it. I wonder, this is no scoop here, I'm just telling you, I'm wondering out loud. I wonder if this isn't Warner Brothers machinations of also tying this into the, of actually reintroducing this Joker back in, of maybe moving forward. You know what? The Harley Quinn movie didn't work so well without Joker. Not that it would have worked better just because Joker was there, but maybe this is connected into larger things. Maybe there was something a little bit to these rumors about him doing that Harley Quinn movie with her a little bit later. Maybe this is their way of opening up the door. Maybe it brings Jared Leto back because, okay, well, if you come back and do this, we will also give you this, this, and this. Sweetening the deal. Sweetening the deal, making it a package deal. Again, be very careful. I am I am not breaking any scoop here. I'm not saying this is what's happening, not in the least. I'm just thinking out loud. That's why I find this exciting on several levels. Mm -hmm. One, that Zach is obviously, this movie he never completed, is being given a ton of money to do it. He's had years to think of new ideas, and he's clearly be, being given openings to in, implement these new ideas. The fact that we're getting, I'm, again, I know I'm one of the only people who likes Jared Leto's Joker, but the fact that we are going to get a chance to get Jared Leto on screen, even if it's for 30 seconds, but I'm excited about that. I just think there's so many good angles to this mm -hmm. for a story that has been riddled with toxicity for years. I'm hoping a move like this, and now that it's very clear what the Snyder Cut always was not, and what it is going to be now, and now that that picture is becoming clearer, I'm hoping we get an end to that, and now everybody can just start getting excited now at this point, understanding what it was not, and understanding what it is now, and I think this is good news. But and gosh. I know Tom's going to be excited for it. Uh, probably. I don't know. We haven't actually talked about it, but you know what? And also good on them for figuring out a way to keep us talking about this project. Yep. I mean, it's just every, I mean, every couple, every month or so, they just drop another little nugget of gold, another little, another little piece for us to, to chew on as we're waiting. And do you know the release date of this? I know it's Oh, no, all they're saying is 2021. Oh, they haven't, Lord. They That's, really haven't given us a date yet. 2021 is 365 days long. I know. Unless it, could, it could be Christmas time. It could be summer. Oh, goodness. So much to look forward to in 2021. Well, I, I'm excited about it regardless. And you know what? Good for Jared Leto for for whatever negotiations he pulled to be able to, um, you know, reclaim his his role of Joker. And we'll see what happens. Question is for you guys. 
I'm sure this is a whole storm cloud of mixed emotions swirling <laughs> around everybody over this, especially people who hate Jared Leto's Joker, but really love the idea of the Snyder Cut. How are you feeling today? How is everybody feeling about this? Maybe you love Jared Leto's Joker, but you don't want to see him in Snyder Cut. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're like me where you think this is actually great news. How are you guys feeling about this and why? Jump on down in the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.